before you are a leader success is all about growing yourself when you become a leader success is all about growing others st joseph's bestows upon its students the ability to be the future leaders of the world and the country keeping up with this thought in mind st joseph's from its very inception has envisioned that the josephites are trained to be an ambassador and a go beyond her school parliament forms an integral part of the school there are many reasons for the existence of student leadership a school parliament brings out the leadership qualities of the students the students learn to accept responsibilities and support school administration the students learn to delegate tasks among themselves promoting teamwork democracy participation and democratic way electronic voting system makes it very honest in its process at the st joseph's the investiture ceremony is a platform to showcase the leadership skills and abilities of our students and is the most prestigious ceremony in the schedule of school events the investiture ceremony marks a significant beginning of the new academic session today is a solemn occasion where the newly elected leaders are all prepared to don the mantle of leadership and discharge the responsibilities entrusted upon them by the school my dear young leaders leadership isn't about showing people how energetic enthusiastic you are it is about gaining enough knowledge and wisdom to move people and plants from obscurity to excellence leaders are always on the learning curve here are a few tips to motivate you to be a good leader living out every minute of the day the school motto virtue alone ennobles one of the marks of true greatness is the ability to develop greatness in others reputation is made in a moment character is built in a lifetime leadership that makes a difference includes a personal willingness to do the right thing it makes tough choices moral choices spiritual choices ethical choices right choices motivation is like the tide it raises everyone up when it comes in great leaders inspire their followers i have a dream think of what you can accomplish through your dreams you can contribute to something great either by word or by deed the best leaders are those who can inspire others 
to reach the impossible. Do not let others define who you are. As the theme of the year goes, let your learning define your life. Be as persistent as you can be and do not give up. Learn to fail or fail to learn. You do not need to be perfect. Use your imagination and your creativity. If you think you can, you can. If you think if you cannot embrace change, at least give it a try once a while. Work hard and keep walking the road. Excellence is doing ordinary things extraordinary well. So be a go beyonder. Finally, live each day like it's your last. It is a saying we have all heard before, but a few of us actually give it a thought. Living each day like it's your last forces you to think about your priorities. It forces you to quit the things that waste time and energy and to concentrate on the most important things and people in your life. If you live that way, you make better choices, you treasure each moment and take the best out of your life at every moment of your life. It removes the clutter. It removes the clutter and garbage that so often chokes our lives. Living each day like it's your last enables you to grab every opportunity that come in your way. There will not be any pro there will not be any procrastination. Doing today what you could put off till tomorrow. Reach out to your dreams today. Not letting another moment pass you by. Living life to the full each day. In this way, you will prove by your life that you are a go-beyonder and an ambassador for today's world. Being the person God wants you to be and the person that you are meant to be. So here is wishing each one of you, my dear leaders, God's choicest blessing to empower you to be a woman of vision, substance, and courage. May your leadership be committed service to all at St. Joseph's. May each one of you dare to soar, to take St. Joseph's to greater heights. May God bless you each one of you. Thank you so much, sister. With the deep insights on leadership given by our principal, we commence this morning's investiture ceremony with a prayer service. Let us enter into an attitude of prayer, praise and petition as we light the lamp of solidarity, integrity, understanding, hope and faith. We invite our chief guest, Major Monica Malik, Principal Sister Lily, Sister Stania, Sports Officer Mr. Ravdeep Singh and our Prime Minister Anam Khan to light the lamp.
express our divine gratitude through prayer dance. Now we have 
the Speaker of the Parliament, Prime Minister, Deputy Prime Minister and members of the opposition along with staff opposition leader coming forward to dedicate themselves to God in service of the school. Let us enter into prayerful moments to seek the blessings of the Lord before we take up the responsibilities as ambassadors of the new dawn by imbibing the theme of the year, let your learning define your life. We request President of our school parliament, Sister Lily, escorted by our sports officer, Ravdeep Sir, to move forward and reveal the enlightened path to be traversed by the members of the cabinet with a will to win and a will to explore their full potential for personal excellence. Our President, Sister Lily, believes in selfless service in the name of God. Her perseverance and her unconditional, unaccountable services in the field of education are commendable. Let the aura of radiating spark, so generated by her single touch, inspire our leaders of every nation, every state, every institution to follow the right path in reorienting, redesigning the human society, inclusive of beautiful nature existing on this planet Earth. Lord, bless us with your divine wisdom so that we may be able to understand the purpose of our life and act according to your command. Help us to take initiatives as an ambassador of the new dawn in conserving and protecting the beautiful canvas so designed by you with commitment. So bless us, Lord. We invite Speaker Mrs. Suma Matthew and Opposition Leader of our School Parliament, Mrs. Mini Raj, to move forward as Ambassadors of the New Dawn and install the flag of the New Era, its golden rays dispelling the darkness of ignorance to establish the golden era of enlightenment. Let the learned knowledge help us to define our life. Help us to make every child an epitome of vision. Let each small step lead to achieve the vision of sisters of St. Joseph's of Chambery, spirituality of communion for human excellence. Lord, as ambassadors of the new dawn, help us to hold the responsibilities with commitment so that we may be able to justify our role in establishing peace on this earth. So, bless us, Lord. Prime Minister Anam Khan and Deputy Prime Minister Srishti Jain move forward as ambassadors of the new dawn to install the flag of courage in this temple of education. Lord, help us to connect our minds to strive towards success and achievement in becoming true human beings. As builders of future nation, our young women leaders will stand up for the right cause and will leave a legacy. We believe women leaders are more transformational than men. Lord, help us to trust our own identity and to examine ourselves so that we may follow the right path for the right cause. So help us, Lord. The Education Minister, Tanushri Chauhan, and Deputy Cabinet Minister, Farah Tanvir, move forward as ambassadors of the new dawn to install the flag of an awakened mind to touch the sky with glory. Lord, help our young leaders to follow the right path for right action so that they play a vital role 
in reviving the lost glory of the past by designing young minds for greater innovation in the field of science and technology so that India may become the global techno leader of tomorrow. Lord, bless us with your divine wisdom so that we may be able to transform ourselves as a contributors of emotional intelligence with logical analysis. Lord, for this we seek your blessings. The Discipline Minister Nitya Ahuja and Deputy Cabinet Minister Gaurangi Gupta march forward as ambassadors of the new dawn to install the flag of strength and power in this temple of education. Let this flag flutter high, holding the beauty of character, maturity and responsibility, much needed trait in today's chaotic world. We believe that every life is a masterpiece, a complete creation of God with special strokes of colors for special choices, assigning special duties to be executed honestly and sincerely. Lord, bless us with your divine strength so that we may be able to meet every challenge coming on our way with calmness. Help us to be firm by inculcating the moral values of self-discipline at all levels. Lord, for this we seek your blessings. The Cultural Cabinet Minister Mokshada Nayak and Deputy Cultural Cabinet Minister Naomi Panikar march forward as ambassadors of the new dawn to install the flag of Gaurav in this temple of education, reflecting multiculturalism and unity in diversity. As women leaders, they will be able to leverage their communication in a deeper and more impactful way in building and strengthening the bonds of relationship. Lord, help us to weave the canvas of human society using persona fiber of hope and trust, using vibrant shades of love and warmth to intensify the beauty of rich cultural heritage of India. Lord, help us to reintegrate resilience for perfect harmony. For this, we seek your blessings. The Sports and Traffic Minister Mahi Kumar and Deputy Cabinet Minister Yoshita Reddy march forward as ambassadors of the new dawn to install the flag of endurance in this temple of education. Present generation is falling short of flexibility, stamina and strength due to digital lifestyle. As leaders of sports and traffic, Lord, help them to regulate various activities that will help them to build their stamina, strength and reflexes. Help our young leaders to prepare a blueprint for the smooth functioning. Lord, bless our young leaders with your divine strength so that they may be able to respect all the rules and regulations laid down by the authority to govern all the sports activities and traffic flow within the campus as per the guidance. Help them to interpret logically all the challenges coming on their way. Lord, for this we seek your blessings. The Cabinet Minister of Health and Finance, Prapti Gupta, and Deputy Cabinet Minister, Kanak Mehta, march forward as ambassadors of the new dawn to install the flag of happiness in this temple of education. As ambassadors, Lord, help our leaders to take initiative in creating healthy ecosystem. 
we believe that the strength of the nation depends on the health of women. Healthy citizens will strengthen the economy of the nation. Lord, help our leaders to navigate the ship of good health towards right direction in order to fulfill the dream of India. Healthy India, wealthy India. Lord, help our leaders to become the power and pride of healthy and joyful tomorrow. Bless us with your divine wisdom so that we may be able to understand the concept of cleanliness and spread the message of green India and clean India for a bright future. Lord, for this we seek your blessings. The Cabinet Minister for Environment, Zahra Khan, and Deputy Cabinet Minister, Sneha Pillai, march forward as ambassadors of a new dawn to install the flag of greenovation in this temple of education. As ambassadors of green ecosystem, our young brigade will make an earnest effort for the restoration of the lost ecosystem to save the lives of all the living creatures of this planet Earth and will take the lead to protect the environment and prevent pollution caused due to greed and selfish motives. Lord, bless us with your divine wisdom so that we may be able to organize awareness program for protecting forests, wildlife, water, air, and above all, soil to restore balanced ecosystem. Lord, for this we seek your blessings. The Cabinet Minister of Opposition, Aditi Koro, and Deputy Cabinet Minister, Pranjal Gidwani, march forward as ambassadors of the new dawn to install the flag of self-reliance in this temple of education. As ambassadors, our young leaders will stand up strongly for the right cause and will become voice of the voiceless. Help them to build the bridge of faith to connect people with the system for productive functioning. Lord, bless our leaders with your divine wisdom so that they may be able to do justice while rendering their services for mankind. Lord, give our leaders strength to face testing time with courage and dignity. For this, we seek your blessings. Now the captains and the vice captains of all the four houses, Nehru House, Mikal Aghamkar and Shriya Pawar, Tagore House, Shevya Sharma and Khanak Babani, Tilak House, Kanak Bhavnani and Bhumi Pandya, Gandhi House, Insha Hassan Zaini and Tanishka Khare, march forward as ambassadors of a new dawn to install the flag of unity in this temple of education. They will take lead in igniting the spark of brotherhood for cementing the fragmented world by imbibing their house motto. First things first, duty before pleasure, right at any cost, strength through hardships. They will work together to achieve the mission of Sisters of St. Joseph's of Chambery to make every child a gift of God to mankind and a pride of human race. Lord, bless our leaders with your divine understanding so that they may be able to learn the concept of teamwork, to be flexible, to be loyal, to be reliable and responsible, to be respectful and ready to extend helping hands for those who are in need. Lord, for this we seek your blessings. Now we shall listen to the theme song.
the most awaited moment has come the investiture ceremony in which we are going to witness the young leaders taking oath to shape the world we live in it is a formal ritual that invests an individual or group with the rights and responsibilities of an earned position investiture ceremony at st joseph's recognizes senior leaders as the standard bearers of the school's values and ideals during the ceremony they will be taking their oaths receiving sashes and badges denoting their office and for some their house flags as well in the center aisle marching forward to the stage are the prime minister anam khan the deputy prime minister srishti jain and the cabinet members education tanushree chauhan discipline nitya ahuja cultural mokshida nayak sports and traffic mahi kumar health and finance prapti gupta environment zara khan opposition leader aditi kurup and the deputy cabinet ministers education fara tanveer discipline gorangi gupta cultural naomi panikar sports and traffic yoshita reddy health and finance kanak mehta environment sneha pillai opposition leader pranjal gidwani the captains of the four houses nehru house meekal aghamkar tagore house shivya sharma tilak house kanak bhavnani gandhi house insha hasan zaidi and the vice captains nehru house shriya pawar tagore house kanak babani tilak house bhumi pandya and gandhi house tanishka khare behind the student leaders coming up to the stage are the speaker of the school parliament mrs suma matthew opposition leader of the school parliament mrs mini raj nehru house mistress mrs sandhya ajit tagore house mistress mrs maria miraj tilak house mistress mrs bhavna chavla and gandhi house mistress mrs inderdeep kaur narula the chief guest is accompanied by the president of the school parliament sister lily the prime minister now commands for caution prime minister and deputy prime minister march forward to take their oath
the prime minister anam khan and deputy prime minister srishti jain received the sash and the badge The Prime Minister is now honoured by being presented the school flag to uphold it for this academic year 2022-23. Cabinet Ministers and Deputy Cabinet Ministers take their oath. The chief guest, assisted by the president, hands over the badges to the cabinet ministers and deputy cabinet ministers denoting their respective portfolio. The opposition leaders Aditi Kurup and Pranjal Gidwani take their oath. They now receive their badges.
middle and secondary school leaders will now take their oath. The opposition leaders of middle and secondary school take their oath. The primary school leaders will now take their oath. All the members of the school parliament receive badges denoting their office.
after the presentation of the school flag and badges and the solemn swearing in ceremony of the school parliament we proceed with the oath ceremony of the house captains and vice captains the house system provides ample opportunities for healthy and constructive competition among students under the able leadership and guidance of their respective house mistresses captains and vice captains every student belongs to a house the four houses nehru tagore tilak and gandhi have their own special mottos nehru house first things first tagore house strength through hardships tilak house right at any cost and gandhi house duty before pleasure first is the nehru house captain mikal aghamkar and shriya captain and vice captain shriya pawar as they march forward to take the oath in the presence of the principal and the house mistress mrs sandhya ajit they receive the sash and the badge The captain now receives the house flag. Next is the Tagore House Captain Shivya Sharma and the Vice Captain Khanak Babani. They march forward to take the oath in the presence of the Principal and House Mistress Mrs. Maria Miraj.
they receive the sash and the badge. The captain now receives the house flag. Next is the Tilak House Captain, Kanak Bhavnani, and the Vice Captain, Bhumi Pandya, march forward to take their oath in the presence of the Principal and House Mistress, Mrs. Bhavna Chavna. They now receive the sash and the badge. The captain now receives the house flag. Last but not the least is the Gandhi House Captain in Shah Hassan Zaidi and the Vice Captain Tanishka Khare. They march forward to take their oath in the presence of the Principal 
and the house mistress mrs inderdeep kaur narula they receive the sash and the badge The captain now receives the house flag. the solemn proceedings having been successfully completed we now request the chief guest major monica malik to say a few words to the assembly gathered here ma'am please Good morning all of you. More louder. Good morning. Good morning. Okay. At the outset, uh, I would like to thank uh, principal. Ma'am, I'm really grateful for inviting me here. I'm extremely privileged and equally humble to be talking to you all. And I mean this. I was sharing this thing to the principal. So yeah. Firstly, uh, I would like to congratulate the outgoing school members because I'm sure they've done well. Are they here, ma'am? No. They're all. Okay. So, congratulations, Bacha. You all have done well, and uh, you all have proved yourself, right? And uh, this is going to benefit them a lot in their future. Now, this year's selected members, you're the chosen one, right? you're the chosen one you have been elected so keep up to that right aim high whatever responsibilities are being delegated to you you have to shoulder them responsibly now i hope you all understand the importance now right okay do you want me to say something on leadership would you like to listen on that just a few things my mantra although i got my exposure a little late in life when i did my training i didn't have an exposure like this like you all had in your school time so i had my training in officers training academy which is gaya 
which is after I admit, did my college. So you are all very privileged and lucky to have your exposure so early. I can see so, so tiny children sitting over there. Okay? So be grateful. Just three things. My instructors, my teachers in my academy days, they used to tell us, just follow an acronym FAR. What is that? FAR. F-A-R. Where F stands for fortitude. What does it mean? It means to have mental and emotional strength to overcome all the challenges. But with what? With courage. Do you get what I said? It meant you are going to get obstacles in your path, but you have to fight them, right? You have to take them as your learning and you'll sail through. Next is A. A is to be ardent. Ardent. It is to always be very Joshila. What it is? Joshila. What does it mean? High on spirits. What is it? Yes, you'll again sail through. Last is to be relentless. R stands for to be relentless. To aim for high. Always aim for high. Never settle for mediocrity. Okay? And you'll get good results. So did I make sense? Did I make sense? Okay. Lastly, I would say what, what I got to know, what I got to learn from you all today. See, I, it's been almost 16 years since I got passed out from my school. So what I learned today from all of you, to be cheerful all the time. To be cheerful. Actually, I was mentioning to the principal, this is the best phase of your life, to be in school. And if you all look towards your right, the primary students, they are very innocent. Never lose out on that innocence, beta. Okay? So stay happy, stay motivated. You are the future. And yesterday only I got to know that I am going to address the girl power of the country. I didn't know before yesterday that it is entire girls convent school. So you are the budding, young women. Okay? Keep doing well, be strong, make your nation proud. But firstly, make your school and your teachers and your parents proud. Congratulations to all of you once again. Jai Hind. Jai Hind. Thank you so much, ma'am, for your words of inspiration and motivation. Our young leaders will surely try to imbibe your words in their lives. Now, the Prime Minister of the School Parliament, Anam Khan, will propose a vote of thanks. Good morning respected principal, teachers, parents, and my dear friends. It's my privilege to propose a vote of thanks and acknowledge the contribution of all those who worked hard for the ceremony. I extend my sincere thanks to the Almighty for today's success and a special thanks to our venerable principal, Sister Lily for providing us with an environment to learn and grow as we step into the realm of success. I express my sincere thanks to our honorable chief guest, Major Monica Malik. Ma'am, despite your busy schedule, you made it a point to grace the occasion and motivated us with your treasurable words. I'm extremely grateful to all the parents who took out time from their busy schedules and graced this event to encourage, support, and appreciate our accomplishment. It is because of all of you that we stand here today. I thank our teachers 
for their untiring efforts and guidance that will surely help us to navigate the journey that lies ahead of us as a committed leader of tomorrow. I'll be failing my duty if I do not extend a token of gratitude to the support staff and my colleagues for their indispensable contribution. Thank you, everyone, for being a part of our Red Letter Day. Thank you. Thank you so much, Anam. Like all good things which come to an end, we conclude the investiture ceremony with the national anthem. We call upon Anam Khan, the Prime Minister of the school, to command the school for the national anthem. Everyone is requested to please stand up in honor of this great nation. request our chief guest and the special guests, parents of the leaders, to move to the KG section for light refreshment. <laughs> 